Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz with you on a special edition of Fantasy Football Today presented by Capital One. It is the Thursday night edition. We'll be doing this from here forward till the end of the regular season. And of course, to help me break everything down between the Bengals and the Steelers for this Thursday night game, we bring in our CBSSports.com senior fantasy writer, Dave Richard. How's it going, Dave? Uh, it's a busy, it's a busy morning here, Jay. Yeah, it absolutely is. Let's get right into it, Dave. Uh, breaking news about tonight's game. What is it? Well, Chad Johnson, uh, according to the Bengals' official team website, has been deactivated for Thursday's Week 12 game at Pittsburgh. He has a, reportedly violated a team rule and will not play. Will be inactive for tonight's game. That's going to mean that T.J. Hushmanzada, for the first time since 2001 will take the field without Chad Johnson opposite him for the Bengals. Now, he's going to be replaced by a myriad of wide receivers. Chris Henry, uh, Jerome Simpson, and Glenn Holt are expected to be the three main receivers that kind of take his spot. But you also have to figure that tight ends Reggie Kelly and Ben Utek will also take some targets away from what would have been Chad Johnson's targets. And Chad Johnson did have a touchdown the last time these two teams played. Dave, of any of those receivers, Chris Henry, uh, maybe Jerome Simpson, are any of those guys good starts for tonight or for this Week 12 for fantasy football? You know, only if you're desperate do you go and reach out for one of those guys. I've got a list of a couple of wide receivers here that might be available on your waiver wire that you can pick up and start in place of Chad Johnson right now. Look for Ted Ginn Jr. He's been on fire. Mark Bradley with Kansas City, same exact thing, and Bradley's got a good matchup to boot. Rasheed Davis for the Bears, he's playing at St. Louis. The Bears' offense should be good against those St. Louis Rams. And Michael Jenkins of Atlanta. Again, we're talking about guys that are last-ditch options because this is an unexpected turn of events with Chad Johnson missing the game. Any of those players, you know they're going to play. You know they're going to get a couple of catches. All of them are also candidates to score. That's why you want to start them in place of Chad Johnson, who's going to get you a goose egg. All right, let's talk about the Steelers, uh, Dave. They had 38 points last game against the Bengals. Are you expecting them to just run over Cincinnati tonight? Run well, being exactly. the key word there? Yeah, run is definitely the key word there. Uh, the Steelers have had a death grip on the Bengals, and it's been thanks in part to their running game. Willie Parker, uh, I believe all except two times in his career, has scored and run for over 100 yards against the Cincinnati Bengals. Earlier this year when they played, it was Moeldy Moore that filled in for Willie Parker. There wasn't even a drop-off. Milwaukee Moore did better than Willie Parker had been doing. He totaled three touchdowns, well over 120 total yards. So now you're looking at Willie Parker playing, should be healthy. He is a must-start in fantasy, and I think the Steelers are going to ride him. They're going to let him have chances to score. They're also going to let Big Ben throw some touchdowns. He has at least two in each of his last three against the Bengals. And having said that, Dave, who's your boomer bust? The boom in this game is going to be Heinz Ward, and this is a guy who in his last three games, five touchdowns against the Cincinnati Bengals. So there's a guy that loves to beat up on the Bengals. It's Ward, and you also have to keep your eye on him because in their previous meeting, Heinz Ward hit Keith Rivers so hard that he knocked him out for the year with a broken jaw. The Bengals are going to be looking for him, but Ward certainly has a lot to play for in this game. Of course, the Steelers have a lot to play for in this game. They're in a close division race with Baltimore for the AFC North. And Heinz Ward coming up a 100-yard game last week against the Chargers. Dave Richard, thank you very much, sir, and more fantasy football on Sunday. Yes, looking forward to it. All right, folks, don't forget, fantasy football today presented by Capital One every single Sunday of the regular season beginning at 11 a.m. Eastern. All the latest actives and inactives up to the date information as we hear from the CBS crews across the nation. For Dave Richard, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.